Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is of course the Legendary Porpoise and today we are building a really cool medieval fantasy gatehouse. Now this would be the entrance to a city. It is a very unique, different design, but I really like the way it came out. I think it's really interesting and unique. But without further ado, let's jump on into the intro. All right, so as you can see right off the bat, we are doing a very unique shape. It's going to be the main gatehouse, um, which is, you know, lots of squares and rectangles. And then we have these semicircular buildings that are going to be off um, from the main structure. Now, I wanted to do this build as, once again, I'm, you know, I'm, I've been experimenting with shapes quite a bit. And I've been trying to do things that are a little bit different and that you don't typically see in most Minecraft builds. You know, odd shapes, weird things that people typically don't try to put together. Well, I'm trying to make that happen. So as you can see here, we're filling in the base with a little bit of stone brick. Now, granted, I want to make this very clear. This is not necessarily a let's build project, though you can build it in uh, if you if you watch the video closely enough, you can do it. Um, but it's still kind of difficult. But the whole point is, is to have this gatehouse guarded by these two um, structures that jut inward and make a half circle. So there's only one way in, one way out, and it's very heavily guarded. This area is going to have two main gates, one right here on the first entrance, and then one in the actual main structure of the gatehouse with like giant iron bars, uh, pretty much. And that's going to be just an added level of security for whatever city or town that this is guarding. Uh, this, this is more of a general structure that I decided to make, but I really like the way it came out, and I think it just looks absolutely fantastic. Now, of course, if you haven't already and you enjoy this content, you know, you know, I got to say it would, it would be awesome if you consider subscribing to the channel, um, you know, hitting that thumbs up, commenting below what you would like to see or what you're liking about all these videos and series thus far. You know, it just does help me. It helps the channel. It helps, you know, the, uh, the channel get more noticed and more people can, you know, get involved with this really awesome project uh, that we're building, you know, slowly but surely. Um, and you can see here, though, however, you can uh, the, the first gate area is going to be right here. So it's actually very simple. It's very basic medieval structure style. Um, of course, we're going to have the roofing cover this. And now the roofing is, is actually kind of a little complicated, you know, uh, with the curvatures of the building itself. It can get a little difficult to make it all match up perfectly so you're just gonna have to kind of experiment but what i did is i just used stairs some full blocks and a couple vertical half slabs in certain areas just to give it a little bit of a height definition and to you know make it just right now that curve is not always perfectly even with the both sides of the structure that are straightened so it's you know you, you have to tweak it a little bit to get it to work and of course the towers are made out of travertine brick and light gray stone brick and you mix that with a little bit of granite and it just looks absolutely phenomenal um you know it looks like it's a somewhat well-kept area but with a little bit of degradation and things like that to make it look like it's aged and it's been there for a while now these towers um you can vary the height you can do whatever you want i decided to just do um, two circular towers, two smaller square towers, and then one giant center. And you can see here, I'm actually practicing my world editing skills. Um, used a little bit to make it <laughs> a little bit easier um, so I didn't have to, you know, build each and every you know, wall. But this is pretty much the video. Um, I'm not going to talk your ears off since this is kind of a basic time lapse and not necessarily a, a let's build. Um, I'm going to throw in a little bit of music for you, let you enjoy that, and I will be right back for the walkthrough at the end of the video.
All right, so as you can see here right now, you can see how cool it really looks. I mean, I love this angle. I love the way that it's designed. I just think it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I, I just wanted to go for a very unique shape, and I think I accomplished that. And I, I think, you know, this would fit well in, in anybody's world. Obviously, change the materials a little bit to fit your theme, but I think it would work just great. But what we're going to do is we're going to go through the first area here, and you can see that's the small gatehouse there. It's 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 very minor defense, uh, mainly to keep out people at night, you know, bandits and things like that, but it works really well. So here we have a small courtyard. Now, I didn't want to make this too bustling and busy because I didn't necessarily have a theme for this build in mind for a specific city or town. So I just kind of made it very generic, very basic. We have a well. We have some carts. We have some storage. You know, we have uh, some crates. We have barrels. You know, just kind of random oddities and, and um, items thrown in here to give it a little bit of livelihood. You can see here we have some lumber, uh, we have a small stand uh, selling, you know, weapons, arrows, things like that. Uh, of course, you know, things you'd want on your way out of the city. Um, and you can see here, like, yep, there we go. So you would want to buy, you know, some stuff if you're going on a quest or if you're going to, you know, slay a wild beast or something like that. And I think it just looks really, really cool here. Um, and you can see here, this is the main gatehouse right here. You can see I did the iron bars, uh, and this is actually uh, nether brick fencing. And there would be another one right there, so it's actually two of them back to back uh, in the final build. So, um, you know, there we go. And we actually have murder holes right here where they would pour hot tar or in this case, like lava or something like that on them, uh, on any invaders who got past the first gate and who were trying to get through the main gate. But this is a basic overview. Now, of course, I wanted to do a full disclosure on this video. The walkthrough is a little bit shorter because I did not do the interior for this build. Um, you know, life has kind of been a little busy and I just wanted to get this done and get it out of the way um, so you could see it and kind of, you know, tweak the interiors and make it your own. Um, I just unfortunately did not did not have time to do that. It would have been an extra like three, four days until I could finish the interiors and get the video out. So I wanted to let you see it now so you can build it and, you know, make it your own. Uh, but you can see here we have the balconies and I think it's really cool how, you know, an archer guard could sit there and watch that whole courtyard. Um, there's the the parts for the hot tar and everything where they could dump it down. Uh, and the room is more than spacious enough. These areas are more than big enough to put like, you know, staircases, um, you know, and any anything you'd really need. But, uh, and I do apologize for not doing the interiors. Like I said, it's just been crazy. And, uh, you know, just trying to get all this done and let you still see these really cool builds. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, as always, this is, of course, the Legendary Porpoise signing off. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy gaming.